Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. In today's video we're going to be looking at what happened to former drag performer Vivian Panay who appeared on season 5 of RuPaul's Drag Race. In this video we'll be discussing Vivian's time on Drag Race, working for Alyssa Edwards, her wig business scandal as well as what Vivian is doing now. All that and more coming up in today's video so let's get started. Who is Vivian Panay? Vivian Panay, whose name out of drag is Michael Donahue, competed on season 5 of RuPaul's Drag Race in 2013 where she placed 10th slash 11th. Vivian no longer does drag and seemed to quit drag sometime in 2017. Vivian is originally from nearby Atlanta, Georgia and is of Filipino descent. And in fact, her surname, Panay, means girl from the Philippines in Tagalog, which is a Filipino language. And Vivian decided to use this as her surname in drag to pay tribute to her Filipino heritage. On the show, Vivian described herself as the quote, fishiest queen, meaning that she looked the most like a cisgendered woman. And in fact, Vivian was once described as catch of the day, Vivian Panay. And this was later changed and made into a joke by fellow season 5 contestant Alaska when she said, Soup of the day, Vivian Panay. Bland. Soup of the day, Vivian Panay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to note though that the term fishy is considered offensive and has fallen out of favour in recent years, and this issue was brought up by Victoria Scon during Canada vs. the World. Anyway, Vivian always presented herself as very feminine and was often praised by the judges on Drag Race for her beauty and aesthetic. Vivian's time on Drag Race was pretty short and relatively uneventful, having been safe twice, low and then ultimately eliminated in episode 4, along with Honey Mahogany, in the first ever double elimination on the show. And I think because the cast of season 5 was full of such big personalities, Vivian kind of got lost a bit in the season because she tended to be quite quiet and a bit more introverted than the others. Career After Drag Race At the finale for season 5, during Vivian's interview, RuPaul said that she had heard a rumour that Vivian was working for Alyssa Edwards, and Vivian explained that she had been doing some makeup tutorials online for Alyssa. However, in November of 2013, which was several months after season 5 ended, Vivian appeared to be working as Alyssa's assistant and makeup artist during Alyssa's web series for World of Wonder called Alyssa's Secret. In the series, Vivian appears several times out of drag doing Alyssa's makeup, and she also appears on camera in drag a few times, including when she did an impersonation of Alyssa in a special Halloween episode. Boo! As in. Bippity boppity boo. Y'all can't take me. Vivi? Vivian also appeared in an episode of RuPaul Drives, which was a series on YouTube that came out in November 2013 and featured RuPaul driving around with members of the season 5 cast talking about their life and career after Drag Race. In the episode, Vivian admitted that at the time of filming season 5, she had only been doing drag for around a year, but she decided not to tell anyone in case the other queens or the judges thought that she was too inexperienced. Vivian also said that she was very shy on the show because she had not been doing drag for very long and wished that she could have showcased more of her personality. Vivian also added that she and Alyssa had become close while filming Drag Race. And later in 2014, Vivian appeared on the World of Wonder web series Couples for Cash with her fiancé, now husband, named Devon, where they had to answer questions about each other and they got money for every answer they got right. And these appearances were generally well received by the audience and many people in the comments said that they were happy that Vivian was getting to show more of her personality. After that, Vivian had a few other notable appearances on other TV shows. For example, in 2015 she appeared as a guest on season 2 of the show Skin Wars, which is a reality TV competition show about body painting and RuPaul was one of the judges. In the episode Vivian received a makeover from a contestant named Cheryl Ann and Vivian did not seem very happy with the paint job that Cheryl Ann had done. And this led to an iconic moment where Vivian threw Cheryl Ann under the bus during the judges critiques and this moment went viral at the time. 
They look more like lovely lady lumps. Vivian, what do you think of the outfit? I feel like I'm about to jump into a clown car. I mean, even whenever I started out drag, I didn't look like this. Is someone paying her to throw me under the bus? Also in 2015, Vivian and her husband, Devon, appeared as makeover guests on season 9 of the show Face Off, which is a reality TV competition about prosthetic makeup artists who do makeup in the style of science fiction, fantasy and horror genres. But Vivian doesn't seem to have made any other TV appearances since around that time. The Wig Business Scandal Perhaps the most well-known thing that has happened to Vivian Panay since Drag Race was the scandal and controversy involving Vivian's wig business in 2016-2017. Vivian's wig business is called Fairytale Wigs, and according to Vivian-Michael's LinkedIn account, she founded the company in February of 2014 and still runs it to this day. Fairytale Wigs is an online wig shop that sells wigs for cosplay and princess party entertainers, and the wigs are mainly in the style of Disney princesses as well as other fantasy characters. The scandal involving Vivian's wig company is quite long and complicated, so I'll try and condense it down to just the main points. And I'd also like to credit the Reddit user Oblivion Kiss and the Imga user Iridescent Rose because I used the information that they compiled in their posts in order to create the information for this video. I'll link to their posts in the description. So just to give a bit of background, princess party entertainers and cosplayers are professional entertainers who dress up as characters, usually for events such as children's parties, with Disney princesses being one of the most popular styles. There aren't many companies that offer Disney princess style wigs, so Vivian's company, Fairytale Wigs, was one of the most popular wig providers within this specialised community. And these wigs are usually quite expensive and can cost anywhere between $50 to $800. And for years, Vivian's company had developed a good reputation within the community for providing high quality wigs and accessories. However, this reputation started to diminish in late 2016 early 2017 when a customer posted an unboxing video of one of Vivian's wigs in a Facebook group for princess performers, and the user complained about the bad quality of the wig that they had received from Vivian's company. This was a new Rapunzel-style wig that Vivian's company had only recently started selling. The Facebook user said that the wig was styled badly and there was visible netting and holes in the wig which is usually a sign of a low quality wig. And another Facebook user also posted photos of the Rapunzel wig that they had received on the same day, citing the same bad quality. However, the real issue started when the two users requested refunds from Vivian. It's a long story but basically the user said that Vivian made it difficult to get a refund and was rude to them in her replies to their messages and then Vivian also apparently banned them from ever ordering from fairytale wigs ever again. Vivian also said that the users had to send back the wigs plus a crown that came with the wig as a free gift. But apparently it's illegal to request for a customer to return a free gift even if the item is being returned. And this led to people in the Facebook group accusing Vivian of having shady business practices. After this, multiple users in the Facebook group said that they had received emails from Vivian's company saying that their orders had suddenly been cancelled for no reason. And the users theorised that anyone who was a member of the Facebook group was having their orders deliberately cancelled by Vivian because of the criticism she was getting about the bad quality wigs. Vivian then claimed that multiple fake accounts had started purchasing products from her company in order to leave a bad review, which is why Vivian was cancelling multiple orders without reason. And users also claimed that they were still waiting for a refund from Vivian for hundreds of dollars. The Facebook community then started to turn on Vivian, and some people claimed that Vivian had previously worked for Disney as a wig stylist, but she had apparently, quote, screwed people over and then left Disney to create her own wig company. And people also claimed that Vivian was buying cheap wigs from a Chinese supplier and not styling them herself. Other users who work as professional princess performers were also angry at Vivian for apparently cancelling orders close to Christmas, saying that they had to cancel their gigs because they didn't have a wig to wear. 
And the Facebook community eventually decided to boycott Vivian's business for the foreseeable future. However, the boycott seemingly only lasted a few months. During this time, some of the Facebook users who were involved in the original Rapunzel wig scandal said that their own businesses had received negative Google reviews out of nowhere, and the IP addresses used for the negative reviews came from nearby where Vivian lives. And although it couldn't be proven that Vivian had been leaving these negative reviews, it just added to people's resentments against Vivian. And Vivian even stopped offering custom wigs on her website and now only offers them on request. A few years later in 2020, because Vivian's business had developed a slightly negative reputation within the community, many other people started creating and selling their own princess wigs and accessories. However, problems started arising when several people received copyright notices from Vivian's company on Etsy saying that they had copied Vivian's design for several items, including princess crowns. The users were angry because they pointed out that the copyright ultimately belongs to Disney, not Vivian, and they also said that their designs were different to Vivian's anyway. And the users also said that Vivian was only going after the people who had criticised her in the past as revenge. Vivian even posted about this issue on her Instagram, saying that people were, quote, offering complete copies of our products and marketing them as their own, and she also said that, quote, sellers should never expose themselves and their customers to legal liability in order to make a quick profit. And in general, throughout this whole wig scandal, people were saying that Vivian was being unprofessional in how she spoke to customers and was unwilling to respond to customer feedback. And there were also issues with people saying that they never received a refund from Vivian for their wigs, which meant that they were stuck with a bad quality wig after spending hundreds of dollars. Ultimately, it's not 100% clear what exactly happened and if everything that was said is completely true or not. But what is clear is that multiple users claimed that they had issues with the quality of Vivian's wigs and the community seemingly turned against Vivian's company, which has now developed a slightly negative reputation. And when you search for Vivian Panay on Google, one of the first things that comes up is the wig scandal and it's now become a bit of a joke within the drag race community. What is Vivian Panay doing now? As I mentioned earlier, Vivian appeared to quit drag sometime in 2017, however I couldn't find any information with an official reason as to why she decided to quit drag. Vivian's social media platforms have been mostly inactive for several years now, and her last Instagram post was in March of 2016. And the only social media platform that she has used recently is Twitter. Although she hasn't posted anything on Twitter since early 2021, she did comment on a video of when Bob the Drag Queen said her name by accident during the pit stop for All Stars 7 in June of 2022. Vivian Panay won last week's lip sync. Vivian Panay! (laughs) Vivian Panay! However, Fairytale Wigs looks like it's still actively in business and their Instagram account has been posting regularly. So it looks like Vivian is still running her wig business despite the negativity it received a few years ago. Other than that, I couldn't really find much other information about Vivian, so we'll have to wait and see if she ever decides to stage a comeback. So there you go, there was a quick update on what's happened to Vivian Panay. Did you know about any of this drama involving Vivian before? And would you like to see Vivian come back to Drag Race in the future? Let me know in the comments. Please remember that this video is for entertainment purposes only and I can't guarantee the accuracy of all the information used. I'm simply reporting on publicly available information. Also, please do not send hate or leave nasty comments about Vivian or any other queens. Let's keep it all nice and friendly, please. I'd also like to give a shout out to my amazing Patreon members, Charlie, David, PC Smush and Ronnie. All of you are absolute legends and I really appreciate all of your support. Please make sure you like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again in the future for some more Drag Race videos. Thank you, bye!